The emergence of the COVID-19 global pandemic has changed the way we live our lives. While our brave frontliners suit up in disposable PPE, we are playing our part by wearing masks and staying at home, ordering in food instead of eating out. All of these efforts are to curb the spread of the virus. However, in trying to protect ourselves, we neglect the elephant in the room, the waste booming problem of substantially growing amounts of medical and domestic waste. Green chemistry and sustainability has long been of interest to researchers. The pandemic has only heightened the need to tackle the plastic waste that is piling up in landfills faster than ever. Here, we introduce photo reforming techniques as published by researchers from the University of Cambridge. Photo reforming is a process that uses solar energy, water, and a photocatalyst to completely degrade polyesters and polycarbonates without producing microplastics. This process uses carbon dioxide and hydrogen gas. The latter is a valuable industrial resource used in oil refineries and in fertilizer production. This method is energy efficient as mixing all the reactants with the photocatalyst in a photoreactor under sunlight or a solar simulator is sufficient to kickstart the reaction. However, this process had one major downfall, its reliance on toxic non-renewable inorganic catalysts such as cadmium sulfide and nickel phosphide. Thus, we turn to graphitic carbon nitrides as an alternative catalyst as studied by researchers. Graphitic carbon nitride is a beautiful structure, and its synthesis is easily achieved from abundant nitrogen resources. The use of a graphitic carbon nitride catalyst is the last change needed in this process, turning it into a sustainably optimal method of managing plastic waste. However, one more challenge remains. How do we separate the hydrogen that we seek from the carbon dioxide? A graphene-like membrane can be used to harvest the carbon dioxide, which can then be used by photosynthetic microorganisms, particularly microalgae, for sustainable energy generation via biomass production. In short, the use of a graphitic carbon nitride in photoreforming plastic waste provides an inexpensive and sustainable method of mitigating plastic waste boom. At the same time, it supports several green chemistry principles. The fourth, designing benign chemicals. The sixth, designing for energy efficiency. And the ninth principle, of catalysis. With photoreforming, we have a new way of turning the medical and domestic plastic waste in our landfills into hydrogen gas, an in-demand industrial resource and a green source of energy.